Guarantee of Bank Deposit by William Jennings Bryan, Edison Records. Remedies appear as fast as evils are recognized, for laws are the outgrowth of conditions. A few have, for many years, been advocating greater protection to bank deposits, but bank failures are not frequent, and the number of those who lose is so small in comparison with the total number of depositors that until recently there was no widespread response to the suggestion. In the fall of 1907, however, when banks all over the country suspended payment on checks, the people at once realized the evils of insecurity, and there is a growing sentiment in favor of legislation which will guarantee depositors by requiring all banks to stand back of each bank. The government requires security for its deposits. Why should not the individual depositor be protected? In Oklahoma, a guarantee system is already in operation, and the experience under it has been very satisfactory. There, the banks contribute in proportion to their deposits to a guarantee fund, and the banking board has the power to assess all the banks to keep this fund up to its maximum. The result is that deposits are rapidly increasing in the secured banks of Oklahoma and decreasing in the unsecured banks. This system not only relieves the depositor from anxiety, but it protects the community from the business embarrassment that follows a bank failure, while the banks are more than repaid for the small tax upon them by the increased deposits that are brought from hoarding and hiding. It is only a question of time when the Oklahoma system, or some similar one, will be adopted in the nation and in all the states. But in order to avoid discrimination, the national system should permit state banks to take advantage of it in states which have not established a guarantee system, and state systems should extend the advantage to national banks until a national system is established. 